In data dollars news. Oh. Submitted by Put Taika on JK News. Yeah. That's not smart. I've been telling Gio uh, to bring Taika to JK News. Just lay and him on the table. Put him on the table like we used to do with our dogs. <laughs> Terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be crying every. He's such a good baby. He never cries, but then here he will cry. Are you sure about that? Have you heard him cry he yet? Might feel yeah, at he home. has the cutest cry ever. It's like okay. the cutest. I've, I've, cry. I've heard him almost. He always does a almost cry. Yeah. Like he's about to, uh, and he stops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's just taking a shit. I think maybe he's just like that's like Bart's mentality, and then he's like, ah, ain't no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a recent pop-up store accepted only personal data as currency instead of money. Oh, it's starting. What kind of personal per data? Like my email address, <laughs> social <laughs> pin number. Like yeah, personal like data, your Equifax like number. Like? Equifax number. <laughs> no, it's not good. Yeah, there. what is personal data? Like, my Facebook account. Okay. What you like on Facebook, your WhatsApp messages, your tech, text messages, photos on your phone. Text photos. messages? That's kind of nah, this private. Is this is like Gmail, dude. This you is think, private data. You think Google does it out of the kindness of their heart that it's free? Yeah. Like they take all your shit and sell it, man. It is. Yeah, for sure. Same exact shit. How do they know you? How do, they, how do you give That's your right. personal like data? Targeted ads. Yeah. Okay, so this cybersecurity firm named... Bird <laughs> Kaspersky's Kaspersky Lab. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Katbersky Lab. Like Kaspersky yeah, Lab. Sure. Uh, so they ran they ran a pop up shop in London called the Data Dollar Store, and inside, so pretty much they partnered up with this street artist named Ben E9, and he created T-shirts, mugs, and screen prints for people to get in exchange for their data. So like what I mentioned earlier, like WhatsApp messages, your text messages, email conversations, um, screenshots of just things that you have in your phone, photos, anything. And so in order to receive something, then you have to give personal data. And so that's the whole purpose of this is to have people realize that their data is worth a lot. And every day we're giving away our data for free. And so this whole store was just to kind of put, in, put into perspective how much your data is worth. I love this. This is awesome. It's like informing the public of things that they're ignoring. The exactly. actual awareness that we need in our lives. Yeah. Not the bullshit awareness we do for everything else. I like when they have my data because they remind me to keep buying something that I forgot to buy. <laughs> or play the video game that you opened up but you didn't really finish. Or didn't, did you forget how good it feels to buy things? And you're like, oh, right. <laughs> So here's some images of the pop-up, the dollar store that had people standing outside uh, ready to receive your data. Oh no, but they did it though. That's what's sad about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, a ton of people All did these it. people were like, yo, I'll take the free shit. Uh, what, what, what do you want, my social security? <laughs> no, it wasn't super private like that. Like, uh, it's just- But it's, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, pretty uh, much. You sound like pictures on your phone is like, can you just give them dick pics? So like, do you have no, to- No, because they have these screens on the outside. Well, first, this is Ben E9, the artist who created all the artwork. They have your information. So this is the artwork that he had. Cool. Um, and then some shirts. So, and then prints. So this is the inside of the store. You so they had these screens on the outside of the pop-up store, and everything that people are submitting, they they post it on these screens outside of the store, and they leave it up there for 30 days. This is genius. Is that a fish tank? A fish tank? What's that a photo oh, of? Oh yeah, 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 a fish tank. I wouldn't want anybody to see my fishes. <laughs> This is someone's WhatsApp conversation, and then some iMessages. And then Did it say whether like the person trying to get the merchandise can choose what to give, or like do they like just start scrolling through your phone and taking what they want? No, no. they just hit I agree. I guarantee <laughs> That's it. That's true. Yeah. Sign their life away. Their life no, away. they they don't get to pick. They um, just have to hand over. Wow. But then everything. once once people started hearing about like what what is it that they want then people would prepare their phones and then go up. oh yeah yeah they yeah. start deleting all the you know they're, they're cheating che they're cheating ways i'd give them my dad shit it's like all they would see outside that store is pictures of my freaking niece Aww. oh my god you send too many it's just crazy so i actually hate the child now. same kid at every angle <laughs> I'm like, okay i get it that's why you have 400 messages everyone. oh yeah no for sure you're gonna keep getting those until you give him another Grandchild. Oh. I mute all that shit. I don't care. He needs to remind you. <laughs> My niece at every angle possible. <laughs> and sleeping and awake in every mood. Okay, cool. Hmm? 
Yeah, so in order to get a mug at this store, to get a mug, you have to hand over three photos or screenshots of your WhatsApp, SMS, and email conversations. Uh, to buy a t-shirt, you have to be the, it has to be the last three photos on your camera, ro camera roll or the last three messages on your phone. And then to get an original print, they force you to hand over your phone and then a member of the staff will then poke around and select five photos or three screenshots. That's cool. You can barter with them too, so. Oh. Shots of Nikki's butt for sure is on there. <laughs> no, no nudes because she won't give them to me. Uh, I'm trying to think of what's the worst shit I got on my phone. I feel like I just screenshot like really weird shit on the internet. Like if you saw all the shit that I screenshot, you'd probably be like, what the fuck were you, you doing? What do you do with those pictures? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I screenshot shit way too much. And you just keep it just yeah. to look at? Until like a year later when my shit's like maxed out and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta delete 10,000 <laughs> fucking screenshots of just like text. That's true. My whole phone's like Nikki's butt and like dank ass memes. <laughs> and that's like it. I think that's all I got. Yeah, well, the author of this article, they were saying that they didn't realize how much of their personal data is private to them. So they were, but this store really put it into perspective, like how much uh, privacy they really wanted. While they to walked have. out of there with fucking shirts and mugs. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like that's, they didn't get the lesson to me. I'm yeah. glad they acknowledged the lesson after, but they don't, you don't get the lesson if you walk out of there with merch, bud. Mm. So you wouldn't. No, fuck no. Anything? I mean, granted, I, like many of everyone here, I definitely have given my information out, and I hate myself for it, but like I'm trying to be good about that shit, and I think we all should. Mm -hmm. Like you don't give your, or you would just give your email address to random people? No, I do. I mean, that's the part of the problem. I always fake it. I get fake info. I do that too. But but in our economy, we ha often have to do that. Oh, like, like our bank account. Everything. Yeah, stuff like that. That's why we got to get decentralized, homie. Buy Bitcoin. Thank you. <laughs> I use one, um, a couple of emails for my main thing, like my life thing, and then I use a separate email for junk. for like yeah. yeah, and then I use another email for people to actually contact me. So I don't, I keep the emails yeah, separately. Yeah, me too. I still have a Hotmail account yep. from seventh grade and that's where all the junk goes. <laughs> if I gave you my Yahoo account, yeah. Yeah. it means I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah. I haven't signed into my Yahoo in a, in a long time. Those are probably all embarrassing email addresses, huh? Like sexybarbecuegirl19 <laughs> at hotmail.com. No, I've, had, I've actually had the same email address since middle school. It's a Hotmail email address and it's not embarrassing. It's just my name and like a zip code. So I was. They're probably gonna as find as out. You were also a hall monitor, so that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were embarrassing in other ways. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember when my mom was trying to create an email account for me when I was, I think I was like 11 or 10. She's like, oh, well, what's your favorite thing? Or like, what do you like? And I'm like, I have no idea. She's like, just tell me the first word that pops in your head. I'm like, put the a ring. And then she was like, okay, what about this other thing? And then I just kept telling her random things. And then she's like, now say just random numbers. And I'm like, okay. And then that was my email address. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so then it was just a really weird email address. La puta 553. Five, five, <laughs> I actually got in trouble for my Hotmail address because I had it written down on a piece of paper and my dad found it on my desk. And he came up to me and he was like, what's this Hotmail thing that you're signed <laughs> up on? I freaking got so much trouble. And I was trying to explain to him like it's a regular email address. He's like, what the f email? What is this? You know? <laughs> he thought it was yeah. some sex shit. Yeah, he thought like, what is this hot man? It's Microsoft. He's like, well, who's getting soft on you? <laughs> <laughs> Not on my fucking dog. No, I'm like a child. You would just you know? get like malware everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. they were just like, everything was a porn site if you had torrents. Yeah. And at this time, I didn't even watch porn and I got in trouble for porn because yeah. I would download like all this music and everything was yeah. tits and ass flying everywhere. <laughs> it's like, you're watching porn. So I didn't even get a chance to get. Yeah. <laughs> Got in trouble for it. It was bullshit. Yeah. Oh man, those really. I, <laughs> I love to being of that age where all you want to do is see tits and ass, but then as tits and ass fly up on screen, which is like every kid's dream, you're like clicking out of it. Yeah. yeah. Click, click. No, I gotta get rid of the tits and ass. <laughs> <laughs> so against everything I believed in. Yeah. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's like they God. made me fight my own like need. Yeah. yeah how dare they? Terrible. It would pop up, but then it would take forever to like actually yeah. load. I would like click it out, and then 14 more would pop up. Yeah, when you yeah. accidentally yeah. click one, it pop, 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 pop. Yeah. I'm glad they don't do that anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Though. Are you sure? <laughs> now it's just cam girls everywhere. I know. Fucking everything's cam girls now.
Um, I grew up in the wrong era. Or maybe I didn't. Porn was very hard to get to back in when I was a kid. It's just not quiet. <laughs> now it's very easy and uh, yeah. <laughs> what? So you liked it better when porn was harder to get? Yeah, it was yeah, way it was more exciting. More yeah, it, it was, was like, exciting, you know, yeah, it was like playing Minecraft or something. You yeah, got like, it was like walking outside and finding like $5 as a kid. That's what it felt like, Yeah, getting porn. Because it was just, you had to go through the steps. You either get it from a homie, or you, because you can't go and buy the magazines yourself, like somebody else got it. Drugs or something. Yeah, that's exactly what that shit was. I remember, I remember uh, it was late at night, and I printed boobs, and I, I, I was like, this is the most fucking epic, like, like heist I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, I printed boobs. And we had a black and white printer. <laughs> My dad, uh, my dad did the same thing, and you're just reminding me of my dad right now because like he didn't know. Like, we had one of those fucking Mac computers, you know, the one with the fucking uh, the, the like, colorful the thing, pearl back yeah. side or whatever. And then I had a printer, and I fucking turned the computer on, turned the printer on, and it's like he was fucked up. He was fucking up while he was printing, and like he didn't know that like when you stop the printer and then turn it back on, it'll keep printing while you like previously. So I'm sitting down and getting ready, and it's fucking porno. Just. Zzz, 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 zzz. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Oh Good. my oh god. god, what did you tell your dad? I didn't say shit! I fucking threw it away and I just like didn't look at him for like a year. That was, oh, how old were you? God. I was probably early high school maybe. Oh it wasn't in my college, but then uh, I had a bunch of friends who went to Davis and there's this dude that just... <laughs> He's so stupid. So you know like on Mac, if you have a hard drive and you leave it open to the public, people can go in and look inside it? Yeah. Dude, this guy, we're just like, let's just see what this dude... Let's call him Henry because that's his actual name. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so this guy, Henry, so this guy fucking Henry, right, which which I already didn't like him as much as it is. We just started like, let's just see what's in there. Double clicked it open. This guy had archives of porn. And I'm talking about like categorized in every, he could have opened up his own porn hub if he wanted to. Oh shit. And I was just thinking in my mind, I was like, dude, at this point you could stream porn. You're a sick freak. <laughs> why, are you, why are you collecting it? That's true. The weirdos who collect shit. Yeah. Wow. It's weirder than ever. It was like, a ridiculous amount of porn. Like, I couldn't even fathom, you know what I mean? Like, the only way for me to get through every single video is if I just gave up my life for the next seven years. Right. That's what it was like. Yeah. And then we went into his room to see what else he had in there, and this fool just had like a fishbowl full of Hershey Kisses, which I have no idea. <laughs> so I was oh, like, you're, you're a weird guy, dude. That's I can't weird. even wrap my head around you at this point. My friend had a terabyte of porn that he was really proud of. He so maxed out the whole- pretty common. Yeah. We had, we had a, a, a mutual friend too, and uh, when we go to his, our group of friends would go to his house, I wouldn't do it, but everyone else would take turns going on his computer and just browsing every collection he had. Yeah, you'd go read the Bible, right? <laughs> well, I mean, they're all on the computer, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you would go do community turns. service while everyone did this shit, right? You gotta do that I shit. I didn't story. do it, but they did. I love it. I, you, I do it too in stories. I'm like, you know, they're all doing that shit. I, yeah. I mean, why, what am I gonna do sitting on the homie's computer just looking at porn? Yeah, it's weird. I know, one time I was, I was with my cousin and he was like, he, sh he showed me porn and then he was jerking off in the corner and I was like, I don't like this. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I knew brothers that did that as like brothers. Like they're just, when their mom's gone, they're like, oh shit, mom's gone. Let's jack off, dude. Brothers, yeah. Circle they'll jerks. fucking turn on the video and just start beating off. Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck am I witnessing right now? Guys are disgusting. Yeah, that blonde. Paris Hilton, when her porn came out, mm -hmm. it was when I was in Riverside, and these dudes were all watching the porn together on the Xbox, together in the fucking dorm. And that's the weakest porn of all time. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> I just walked in, like, you guys want, you want to watch this? I was like, no, you fucking Is weirdo. That guy bonding time. Weird. Yeah, that's it's like, private time. Weird. It's weird, right? That's yeah. when I knew I couldn't do no guy guy scenes, dude. Hey guys, thanks for watching that last video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at JK Films to watch more videos. Right up there.